today we're going to talk about the week two of the system administration and IT infrastructure so basically in this course of Coursera we're going to talk about the intro to IT infrastructure services so firstly you need to know about the infrastructure services and what are they actually so our first quiz is about physical infrastructure services so we're going to show the feedback of our quizzes so first question is if you are running a server which one of the following operating systems would be the best suited for your server this is ubuntu server and second question what are the benefits of virtualizing server check all the deadlines so first of all better hardware resource utilization is all must needed and then easier maintenance and lower cost will also be better so basically first three answers okay so number three which of the following do you need in order to ssh a machine an ssh client on the machine you want to connect from okay and then an ssh server on the machine that you want to connect to so basically these two will be your answer and now we are going to our next quiz so which will be basically on network services so there are five questions of network services and we're going to see what are they so the first question is which one benefit of using tftp over sftp so basically there's a simple simpler transfer without an authentication and what service can you use to keep the time synchronized across the machines on your fleet this is ntp uh, that helps to synchronize across the machines on my fleet uh, what are the features does a proxy offer a proxy basically offers the network privacy and network traffic monitoring and internet traffic filtering and if you want to point a domain name into a web server or uh, to use host names within your company what network protocol can you use i can use dns if you want to use a static IP address but want to dynamically assign IP address to computers instead, what network protocol can we use? We can use DHC. So basically these are the network services quizzes of week 2. So now we are going to basically our last part of this which is basically troubleshooting and graded assignment about all the week 2. So we are going to see the graded assignments. So first question of this network services is let's say you have you are the whole IT person at your company and the company is very small startup if they uh, need to set up a few non-critical services and have a single physical server in place what's the best approach to fully utilize the server i can set up a virtualized server on the server okay so the second question if you wanted to securely transfer files from your local machine to a web server what what type of file transfer protocol could you use i can use sftp and thirdly Google's G Suite is an example of which cloud services? This is an example of SaaS or software as a platform, as I mean software as a service. Okay. Number four, which are advantages of using server operating systems? More network connection, more revenue storage capacity, and extra security features, and networking services built right in. Number five, in Linux, the most popular remote access tool is OpenSSH, which software performs the same remote command line or CLI access from a Windows machine. So this is actually Putty and Microsoft Azure. So these will be the correct answers. What are the some reasons DNS is necessary? It makes an internet website IP addresses accessible with human readable domain names. And it simplifies also remote access. And it maps local addresses to simple, uh, to simple names without editing host files. Number seven, an app developer is shopping for a cloud service that will allow him to build code, store information in database, and serve his application from a single place. What type of cloud service he is looking? He is basically looking for a platform as a service or pass. If you want to access files located in a directory or on a remote server, which of these options would we use? You can use FTP client. So basically, these are the all eight questions of week two of this graded assessment. So there is an optional upgraded assessment of quick lab so you can also get familiar with this if you want to open so agree to the use this tool as responsibility or responsive so basically we're opening c4m to l6 quick lab greeting family so basically all you need is to just return the lab and then you will get ip addresses and as well as username so download the tpk file as you know already and don't forget to search the tpk file okay so as you know it's very important for your connection oh i'm sorry okay Okay, so always what you need to do, run this as an administrator and after opening this, copy the username and paste it there and at the rate, again, copy the IP address, paste it. So now you need to open the SSH and expand SSH and then authentication and then browse the authentication file 
which is the latest PPK that you have downloaded open okay so there will be another pop-up and obviously yes so basically our terminal of SSH is on its move so now we already accessed the virtual machine now we need experimenting DNS queries so firstly we need to determine the second terminal 